Honga Room Totem. I have arrived. Uh, I've been expecting you. Long ago, the Barrens was a lush place, teeming with life. But war and a cataclysm raged across the land, scorching it and leaving a dry husk. Such is the way of things, and it saddens my heart. But within the past few years, new oases have formed in the Barrens, and life stirs. And deep down, we druids sense a power leaking its way to the surface. We must find its source. Travel to the Forgotten Pools, northwest of the crossroads. Search its waters for a source of power. Then, return here. May the eternal sun yes. shine upon thee. I shall do that, Tonka. What is the secret to the oasis? Strength and honor. Perhaps you know the pain of uncertainty. Perhaps not, Paladin. But know this. I stand here every day, from the sun's rising till its decline, scouring the horizon for more of those monsters. I've killed and every pig man I've come across since, but my thirst for their blood is far from quenched. Perhaps instead of heading north to the crossroads, I should have headed to Toraho. You, Paladin, you could help me. Kill them. Kill as many as you can. Bring me their tusks, and we will celebrate their deaths together. He's really angry. Sub -sub. We battled in a small torn camp when we were separated. She held three of the bristlebacks off by herself, but the odds began to overwhelm us. I led some away, only to see her overwhelmed by newcomers. In my rage, I turned to face my enemies, but they brought me down easily with their vast numbers. I woke to a torn druid tending to my wounds. He had come across me on the gold road as I fell. Please, Paladin, find some sign of my wife. Then Crick's wife. Go with honor. He's gonna be uh, disappointed when I tell him the news. I think I'll just grab a few more quests. What do you need? I can't really do female. Your first prey will be easy. The Plain Striders to the east have been harassing our food supplies and have become a nuisance. Put down the Plain Striders and return to me with their beaks. Farewell. Have you ever been to Ashenvale, to the north? The Horde has recently set up an outpost on the Zorm Strand there, and we could always use some new recruits to help defend our new fronts. If you think you are up to it, see Kadrak at the Northern Barrens as the Watchtower at the Watchtower. He is heading up the Ashenvale campaign and can give you further orders. Go forth to victory. Troll. Corin. What you want? A Ros Kodobe. I been sent to the crossroads to watch over the land and take note of its happenings for my masters in Ogrimmar. One objective of my studies are the insect-like creatures found to the north, to the south, in the field of giants. We know little of the creatures, so I be making it to making it to a point to discover more. They seem to have intelligence to them, more so than any normal animal. Take this digging claw and collect some of the creatures' eggs from their mounds, but be careful. If alerted, they will attack you. Alright. Stay away. Blood and thunder. The Kuklar are a threat to the Horde's claims in the Barrens. We must reduce the numbers of their troops, and so I have a bounty task for you. 
while the Kukla territories slay their warriors and collect centaur braces. Return when you have a heap of braces, and the Horde will reward you well. Go forth to victory! The centaurs have plagued the Torin for years, and recently the Kukla centaurs of the Barons have grown into a real threat. Normally they were disorganized in these lands, but now, but new leaders have risen among them, rallying them. To preserve our holdings here, these centaurs, these centaur leaders must be destroyed. Bring me the head of Barak Kodobain. He, he camps near the Forgotten Pools to the north. Defeat him, then return to me. Strength. Yes, sir. Tonga, I've discovered something in the oasis that you told me to. What brings you here? Oh, you found a fissure in the earth with gases bubbling from it? Strange. This may be an answer to our questions, but we cannot yet be sure. But it is a clue, and I am grateful that you found it. Like the one you found at the Forgotten Pools, there may be fissures at the other camp, at the other oases in the Barrens. If so, then perhaps the fissures are the oases' source of life. We must test this. Here, take these seeds. They are dead and infertile, but take them to the stagnant oasis to the southeast. If there is a fissure there, then place the seeds within it. And observe. Walk with the earth. Yes. We will see if the dead seeds become alive again. I have returned. The seeds came back to life. Just as you predicted. Probably. Your findings are incredible, Rus Kenobi. These oases held properties that must come from an outside source. Or perhaps an inside one. I want to know how these fissures are affecting the beasts who drink from the oasis water. Hunt oasis snap jaws at the lush water, and stagnant oasis bring me their shells, so I may examine them. We shall meet again. Yes, what happens to the creatures who drink from that special water? How goes your collection? Did you get the shells? Do you want to try reading it? In a deep voice? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, read the quest that comes up here. And it, this is going to alter your voice. Come, come closer. You can try to speak in an extra deep voice, or try to be not yourself. Ready? Huh? I'm kind of gross now. Well, it's okay. Ah! It's fine. Ready? Where's what? Uh, uh, huh? This, this one here. The show you brought me half a ten. One I have never before seen. I am certain the water of the oasis is the oasis. cause. Oasis is the cause. And I can send this. The confusion they cause this land it is as if the land dreamings of dreams and cannot awake. You're tired. You're done? Ah. <laughs> I'm sure says the way takes forever. The wheeling caverns must be the source of the taint. But before you go there, speak with Hamul Runetotem, the elder druid. I sent word to him of the happenings in the Barrens. He is wise and can offer you counsel. You will find him in Thunder Bluff on the Elder Rise. Uh, yeah, so you got double voice for that one. Ancestors watch over. Want to do a more root tone? Moral, my clanmate Moral Moon Totem traveled to Silverpine so that she might aid our undead allies. Super pine, blah blah blah. Go talk to my sister. Go in peace. All right. The fungal spores quest. The oasis of the barrens hide a mystery. Life 
Energy flows from their waters, invigorating the plants and beasts that drink it, invigorating and altering. There is a mushroom that grows near these oases. Its spores hold properties that we, the apothecaries of Lordaeron, find useful. Bring me these spores and you will earn our gratitude. All right. Let's go get them spores. Some of the jokes of the orc races say are pretty good, like this one. I come from the orcs. We eat with spoons and forks. I love to... No. We love to eat our pork. It's not even funny. <laughs> it's not even funny, but they say it. Some of the blood off jokes are not too bad. They're like the blood off male. Give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to... Ooh, just give me some freaking magic before I kill somebody! Fuck you now. Sorry, it's a joke that the blood elf says. <laughs> the girlfriend didn't like that one. Probably because I was too loud. But he's, he's got good jokes. You know what I love about your eyes? Is when I look deep enough, I can see my own reflection. <laughs> Classic. Classic blood elf. Oh, I'm smacking him with my fishing rod. Look at that. hi -ya. Yeah. It's really cute how she tried to stab him. Whoa, look at that spin. A twirl around the back. Very fancy fish pole maneuvers. Wow, that's actually awesome how she does it. It's like... Fan what's it called? Fencing? She kind of... Looks like she's fencing when she does it. It's awesome. What now? Do you have the spores, Roos Kenobi? There is a concoction I must send to my associate in Thunderbluff, which requires the spores. Ah, yes. These are good specimens. Potent. I am forsaken, and we honor our contracts. Here is your reward, Rus Kenobi. Goodbye. I thought there was a follow-up to that. <clears throat> what is it? Oh, okay, there is. Speak quickly. I have rendered the spores you gave me into an emulsion. I must now send it to my associate, Apothecary Zama. If you would carry this to her, she can offer you something from our stores of alchemical goods. She is in the pools of vision, a cave beneath the shamans of Thunder Bluff. The path to this cave is well hidden. But you may find it on the Spirit Rise Bluff. Do hurry up. Patience. I was talking to him. Someone interrupted it. Jesus. Hello. Ah, oh, no. Where was I before? So rudely interrupted. Someone just interrupted it again. I'm, uh, can't you see we're having a conversation here? Jesus. That better be good. Ah, sorry for the interruptions. People keep handing me more mushrooms. Ah. ah! Is this ever gonna stop? So many mushrooms. Ah, okay. Where are we? Oh, I, we keep getting interrupted. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, the pool, vision, uh, Thunderbuff. Yeah. Uh, the path to this cave is well hidden, but you may find it on the Spirit Rise Bluff. Do hurry. The emotion. We got interrupted again. <laughs> Hello. I do apologize. People just keep handing me mushrooms in the middle of a conversation. Very rude. Very rude indeed. All I was trying to say is, do hurry. The emotion will be. It, this emotion will maintain its potency only for a short time. I must be. Just get going. Okay. We can't risk it. How were they able to interrupt me? It's because when I was talking to him, what is it? 
when they would hand him the mushrooms for the first part of the quest, it would make his character do an animation, which would stop him from accepting any new quests until he finishes. So it kept interrupting. <laughs> so rude. Ugh. Don't they understand I'm a blood elf? I'm a blood elf from Silvermoon. Uh, don't they understand? I'm here to save these vile, disgusting horde creatures. So uncivilized. Unbelievable. That's what my character would say. Uh, now on the way to Thunderbluff. Way back in vanilla, I remember watching my brother kill one of these zebra guys, level 18, and it dropped a blue sword for him. Blue quality sword. I was so jealous. And then after I saw that, I spent the next like huge amount of time just killing zebras and they didn't drop anything good for me. Sad panda. That's just the way that the crumble cookies. The razor mane clear boys to the south beyond the field of giants have no skilled blacksmiths from what I'm told but they've apparently started to develop studio weapons. I'd like to get my hands on a few different types to learn their techniques, if possible. If you wish to help bring honor to the Horde, then bring me examples of their weapons. Find me a dagger from their stalkers, a wand from their seers, and a shield from their war frenzy. That should do nicely. May your blades never go. All right. I can't do the orc too much too often. <laughs> it hurts my throat. Ah, oh, I've been expecting you. Roskanobi, Melostonehoof has heard of your deeds and has set a path before you. If you wish to take it, then go to Thunderbluff and speak with Melo. You will find him on the Hunter's Rise. May the eternal sun shine upon you. All right. What does a quill bore sound like? Um, let me see. You must strike my enemies. You must help Mangletooth and the Razormane razor by, by weakening the bristlebacks. Both tribes are very spiritual, tied to the earth and its power. It gives us strength in all things, especially war. If you want to find out who really causes Thork and the Horde such anguish, then help Mangletooth. You attack the spiritual leaders of the Bristlebacks to the north. Weaken them so the Razormanes can defeat them and rule the Barons. All right. That's what a Bristleback sounds like. All right, so basically slay a bunch of Quillborn. Show them no mercy. Yes, filled with joy because finally the Bristleback know my tribe's pain, Blood Elf. This is that is how I should feel, but that is not the case. You aid your people and they honor you. Mangletooth aids his people and what do they do? They turn their backs on him. They forget him and leave him to rot in a cage. I aid them even from locks behind bars and they send no one to save me. Along with the thorns, the blood affected other aspects of the earth. Blood redstones mixed in with other minerals. The bristleback dig up these shards and carry them as totems for strength in battle, as totems for their magics. I know the secrets of that magic. Bring Mangletooth one of these blood shards to show you understand. 
bring Mangletooth many of the shards, and he will bless you with Quillborn magic, the magic of a Gamagan. Way ahead here. I've got like a hundred of them. Ah, you do understand. My words were not lost on your ears, Blood Elf. Mangletooth may be caged, but no cage can stop a Gamagan's power. The touch of the shard, the feel of it. Ooh, it has been a long time, Blood Elf. Do you know what it is like to have your power severed from you? But that is a tale for another time. I promised you information. I promised you Agamagan's power. My people turned their backs on Mangotooth. Now I lose you upon them. A new quest. Three of my tribe came of the crawl, out of the crawl to the lead, to lead the raids against the horde. Blood elf. They are ruthless and cunning, and if you defeat them, then your crossroads and even most of the barons will learn a piece. But uh, at least from the razor main tribe, Nack, Cuz, and Lock, Orkbane, are the ones you seek. They are far to the south of the barons. One is a spellcaster, another a tracker, and their leader, the one called Orkbane, a warrior. Kill them, Blood Elf, like they have killed me. He wants revenge. Cairn is a noble leader for uniting our people here on Thunderbluff. But I cannot forgive those who drove us from our ancestral lands as easily as some. My people inhabited the Southern Barrens for decades. The land was holy to us, but we were driven off by numerous foes. A vengeful fate awaits the crone, Chargla, Razorflank, who musters a foul army from within Razorfin Crawl. Bring me Razorflank's heart, and I can die in peace, Rose Kennedy. We'll be at your That's a Razorfin Crawl quest. Won't be doing that for a little while. Greetings. I bid you greetings, Rose Kenobi. You are welcome here, and I suggest you gather all your strength for the task we now set before you is a dire one. I entered the land of dreams and dreamed of a cult of druids who dwell in the Wailing Caverns. I saw that their goals were once noble, but they have lost their way. They are now servants of the taint, sleep seeping through the barrens. I am old, and my strength fails. I could not long dwell in that dreaming place, and know little more of the tainted druids. But Nara is young, and her spirit is fierce. What? I'm old. And her spirit is fierce. She remained. In the dreaming when I fled. Speak with Nara. She is in the tent over yonder. Be careful. Nara, hi. Huh? How may I aid you? Yes, it is true. I know of the druids in the Wailing Caverns. I have seen their twisted, scaled faces. I know of their crimes, and I know their plans. You must stop them, Roskenobi. The druids in the Wailing Caverns, the druids of the Fang, are an aberration. They were part of an order of noble druids whose plan was to heal the barons, but now seek to remake the land to match their own twisted dreams. The druids of the Fang have four leaders, and each possesses a dream gem. Even now their faces haunt me. Defeat the leaders and bring me their gems, and the barons may again know peace. Go, Rose Kenobi. You will find them lurking deep within the Wailing Caverns. Why oh, you look at me? She's you can't they can they can't see you, but she's looking at me with judgy face. Look, come here. No. Let them see. She's looking at me with judgy eyes. Why are you judging me? I have to voice the females. Don't I? Ah, I gotta voice the male and the female characters. All right. May the eternal sun shine upon Greetings, Traveler. 
the Gallic Centaur and the Thousand Needles are protecting an artifact from the time of the Centaur's creation. We would like to retrieve it, but we require a file of water from one of the Night Elf Moon Wells. To collect the water, you will first need to obtain one of the files carried by the Dryads near the Rainwood Retreat in the heart of Ashevale Forest. There is a moon well near the western bank of the Falfan River, south of the main road, where you can feel the vial. May the eternal sun... What brings you here? At times we hunt for food, at times we hunt for honor. And at times we hunt the earth. We hunt to earn the Earth Mother's teachings. But the hunt I now set upon you is none of these things. It is to slay a creature outside of the Earth Mother's blessing. The hyena steel snap roams the thousand needles south of the barrens. He is a tyrant, attracting other hyenas to him and spreading fear and bloodshed among more peaceful beasts. Find Steel Snap, Earth Kenobi. Find him and defeat him. Walk. Alright. He will be slain. Vanquished. <laughs>